analyst Ed Stansberry and Jason Flores from the Greater El Paso Football Showcase filling in for Rick Hernandez tonight. Jason played his high school ball at Irvin. Uh, Jason, also the uh, host of the Cold Zone podcast, guys, has led ISD and Clint ISD both deciding to play on, really set up a game that we've had circled on our schedule, feels like since week one. The football gods have been with us because we, like you said, Andy, we've been waiting for this game all season long. Coach Martinez, uh, Clint Lyons, they're the king of 4A, and we knew coming into this game that the Riverside Rangers would have to knock the king off, uh, but the Clint Lyons, Coach Martinez, over 100 wins as head coach, came out ready to play. Absolutely, but the Riverside Rangers, they average over 34 points a game. They came in here wanting to dominate and score with their sophomore sensations. Jason coming in hot with the stats. I love it. <laughs> 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 Let's do it. Let's He's get it. Prepared, uh, Let's get it. Kind of feels like a Super Bowl the way that this one kind of built up for us, Colin. Yeah, that's why it was our nine overtime game of the week. Let's get it popping. Roll some highlights, please. Uh, we were all out in Clint th uh, this evening. You know, what else were we, we going to do? And uh, guys, check out this, this sunset that we had. I mean, it was absolutely phenomenal out there as uh, the game was in the first and second quarters. The opening Clint drive, Jason, 18 plays and uh, almost 10 minutes ends in a touchdown for the Lions. They go up 7 nothing. You know what, Colin? That was their game plan. They came in trying to dominate and win the time of possession, and that's what they did tonight. Riverside would respond, though. Uh, next drive, Angel Speedy Munoz to Aaron Aguilar. Ed, Mr. Munoz, he talks a lot, and he kind of backs it up a little bit, doesn't he? Yeah, Speedy Munoz has been lighting it up this entire season, um, but he did go out with the injury last week. I don't think he was operating on, all, on full cylinders uh, tonight. Um, and uh, his stats uh, showed that. 7 nothing at, or excuse me, seven, 7 all at halftime, man. Yeah, and then the second half, Riverside with the go-ahead touchdown. Rudy Valenzuela, 40 yards up the gut. That put the Rangers up 13-7, but missed the PAT. And then it's Lopez again for Clint, calling his own number. The PAT for the Lions, it is good. So it put him up 14-13. Riverside was forced to punt on their next possession, and here's your game. The Lions run the last nine minutes off the clock in order to get the win 14 to 13, clinching at least a share of their third consecutive district title. So quite the win for the Clint Lions and Roosevelt Martinez. And for Clint, it's how they got it done in their style of play. Ground and pound, run the football. Nine overtime, Stephanie Shields caught up with Coach Martinez after the game. She has this week's Coach's Spotlight. Coach Martinez here tells me it was an emotional night. It was senior night with no parents and a week full of uncertainty. But the Clint Lions defeated Riverside 14 to 13, essentially clinching the district title. I spoke with Coach heading into halftime when Clint and Riverside were tied 7 to 7. He said to get the win, the team needed to make some adjustments, but most importantly, slow down. He said Riverside was a tough opponent, so they needed to play a lot of ball control. After Clint forced a Riverside punt with 8 minutes and 51 seconds left in the game, the Lions just ran the clock down and didn't let Riverside get another possession for the rest of the game. I coached the line, you know, and I said it starts there and it ends there. Coach says he also takes each game week at a time, saying his players are grateful for each game to get. Up next for Clint, all eyes on San Elisario playing Mountain View tomorrow. The Lions hoping for a Mountain View victory to seal their district championship title. For now in Clint, Stephanie Shields back to you in the studio. All right, Stephanie, do appreciate you. We're going to see Stephanie back because because Isleta ISD, not all in agreement for Isleta ISD continuing athletics. She has a story you're only going to see on nine coming up. Uh, yeah, as well as, uh, you know, we gotta, we got, we're got we handing out some game balls. Yeah, uh, for, I thought that's for a few for, for a few players throughout the borderland that we aren't seeing in action this evening, as well as some highlights from the Tornillo game way out east. Uh, so stay tuned. You're watching 9.